Huge lefty. Big shot. Solid hook. What a pick. The same, same thing. Oh, and there he lands the right hand. He made a good point there. But Did you see? He is not in good shape. He could be out of the Oh, and there. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. He gets off with a combination up top. Took a shot, now he gives a left. How effective can the style of fight, the pace of the fight, it being a busy fight, be for the high standard fight? Well, that's everything. What's the sense of being high endurance or fast if you don't have the kind of pace, the kind of landscape that you can use it? He scored well after being hit himself. Blocking a score. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a three-punch combination. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Donaire's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Solid hook. What a big shot. Round number one, and he's already down. So Nito Donier's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. He has found his groove with his right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Good blood shot upstairs. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. It's his natural inclination. Throw back, but that's the worst thing because now look at the punches he's throwing. He's going to leave himself wide open for something else. Little double jab to the head. Turns over that hook upstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Nonito Donaire. He's jumping all over him now. No, Nito Donaire's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Not able to land the headshot. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. No, Nito Donaire's combination punching is working well here. A battering ram of a hook by No Nito Donaire. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Look at this swarming attack. No Nito Donaire's taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. Looks like my street door on my back porch. I mean, the mosquitoes, there's so many of them. And there's little holes. Some are getting through. How about that left hand? Donaire's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Scored well with the hook. <laughs> He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. 
El Nido Jonair is being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Hits him in the mug with the right. Not guarding his body well at all. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there. He let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. No need of Deniers. They have good, solid left hand. We need to create more counters, okay? So here we are. A new round underway. And in that last round... He got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. But now the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Fires right back at him. He's committed to the combination punching now. He's working out well up top. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And now he scores well with a straight right. Scores big with a hook to the head. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Nice work, the left hand to the head. There's the combo to the body. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A sharp hook to the head by Nonito Jonair. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, it may have been all out. I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Donaire's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab but to right this. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Donito Donaire. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. This round comes to an end. Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the force, and you can continue to be the force. And more importantly, the opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Nice strike after catching one by Donito Jonair. Donaire's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Brings the hook that time. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. Donaire's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Good exchange, he fires back. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Scores with the combo to the head. No Nito Donaire's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there. Because... Did you see that? And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Donaire's rising back up. That takes some guts. Donaire's got a way of just getting away from that punch. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Donito Donaire. There's a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? 
or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival, you know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend, but now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again, you could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Zones in on that overhand right. Don't let him get to you, kid. Good smooth work by Nonito Donaire. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Donaire's coming out. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. Nice wrist one-two combination by Nonito Donaire. Good return fire that time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Nonito Donaire. Donaire's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A well-placed left hand up top. Donito Daenerys' opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Now he ties up there. Well targeted 1-2 by Nonito Daenerys. He is not in good shape. He could be on the... Oh, and there you go. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Round five comes to an end. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in a corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to fool around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner, where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. Well, we've seen the complete opposite, Teddy. We've seen fighters that when they've been knocked down, they become desperate or they completely close the door and get overly cautious. This fighter is fighting the same way he's ever fought. Yeah, and that's either going to be a good or a bad thing. That's the confidence that he's going to get it right, that he understands himself, that he's not going away from his game, from his fight, or he's going to pay an awful penalty for it because his opponent is going to pick up on that predictability and he's going to keep banging him for the same, same reason. Oh, and there he lands the right hand. And bang, and away he goes. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A little, that's a huge left. He just scored. Big shot. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. 